This is what it looked like when you majorly independent, y'all. We majorly independent. And what's good, I own my master. I own my master. Shout out Empire. I own my masters. Mm -hmm. One thing about owning your masters, you look like this during the pandemic. Shout out Empire. Hey, you dumbass niggas. On my mama life, I turned down five million dollars to earn soccer. So I can have my masters. You dumbass niggas. Eee, eee, Jack. Eee, Jack. Eee, Jack. This is what it looked like when you made yeah, man, I just did a video. I had to come do it. I sobered up a little bit. I was fucked up in my last video. But that shit going out because I kept it real on that motherfucker. But uh, I want to come talk about Jack Boy, dog. Jack Boy, that nigga doing his motherfucking thing right now, dog. Um, you know, he spoke on something that's really important to me in the game. And when I talk and do my, like, Shows and shit. I like giving information. If you follow me, you know that. I love to talk shit. I love to get information. I love to learn the business and apply common sense because a lot of the shit be common sense, but common sense is so uncommon. You know what I'm saying? You can't really, some niggas just say, Sydney, you got it or you don't. The way you was raised up, but Jack Boy on the independent side showed a gang of cash today. It was like, yeah, this what happened. When you own your own masters, this what happen. You know what I'm saying? This is how you get money. I own all my own masters. All I gotta do is put this out, put that out. Da -da -da -da. He rock with Gazi. He fuck with Empire. I know I did the video a while, uh, about a week ago on Money Man, talking about going indie inside of Empire. It's the same thing with Jack Boy. Jack Boy's over there at Empire, making it look good. You go in Empire doors as an independent artist. You're doing a partnership like distro deal. And they basically making sure that your shit get to where it need to get bit seen to where you can make money off the music. That's what you want. That's the way. It's a lot of artists going to sign in these record deals, bro. And they getting fucked off. And this artist that's more popular than Jack Boy right now. And Jack Boy's looking better than them. He's making more money than them. And he has so much room to grow. He says he turned down a $5 million deal. And, bro, if you know the game, if he already was making money with Empire and somebody offered him that, if he was already on Empire, because well, he's been on Empire for a minute. So if, if Jack Boy was already on Empire and he saw what the deals were offering, the $5 million, but, hey, I got to pay this much back, so much of the money is this, 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 and this, and that, and I probably got to sell this much, much to get this much off of it, but, hey, I know I just did an independent deal with guys in, nigga. If I weigh it out in the long run, I'm going to make more money over here being independent with uh, Empire Records distribution as opposed to going over here and signing this shit away with Atlantic with all these gray area shit going on. It's always going to be gray area in any contract you sign. Just know that. But all this weirdo shit on the back end and this and that and percentage of this, y'all want this much off the merch, as opposed to me, I go over here, nigga, and everything clean cut already. And I'm still going to have my masters at the end of the day. That's the difference in the rap game. So you just got to see which one work best for you. But shout out to Jack Boy, dog. I fuck with that nigga, like, tough, man. Like, I really be jamming Jack Boy shit. If you follow the small blog page, uh, Urban Politicians TV, just or not, not my personal, the small page. If you follow that bitch, you know Jack Boy get posted a lot on there. Cause I'm watching that nigga grow as an artist, man. Like I always thought when I first heard Grimace Freestyle, I was like, that shit was insane. Like when they first dropped that bitch, that Grimace Freestyle, I was like, this shit insane. Just the style, how he was in there bopping with his niggas in the studio. Shit was real raw and uncut. If you follow me, you already know I'm a Kodak Black fan. So of course I'm already going to take a look at Jack Boy. So, you know, after that, I was like, man, this nigga got something. So then I kept following, following, and I noticed he was entertaining as fuck. I'm like, this nigga funny as much. But the music started getting better and better and better. And now he's steady finding himself as an artist playing with these melodies, 
playing with the flows, the way that he delivered the music now. I see it. it. He ain't scared. That's why he looking like that. The image is clinked up. He dripping every day in designer. Dior, the Dior kid, motherfucking Jane, Chains looking good. And he going to get a lot more money because now he's expanding and they can place this nigga music in other places. So, bro, he's probably one of the Cody, I would I would say, man, I say Jack Boy is one of the most improved artists of 2020, in my opinion. Jack Boy is one of the most improved artists of 2020. Just my just my opinion. I, I that's just me. I feel like he one of for sure. Like the growth, the image, the style. Everything he got going on and playing with these melodies and harmonizing as far as where he was, I think he one of the most improved, man. So he finna take it to the next level. All Jack Boy need is that one hit record, and it's coming. Jack Boy hit record coming for shit show. That hoe coming soon. I would just say a lot of times you can't. I know what he's saying because I die. I break it down, listen to it. If he come on that bitch and just be sharp with them words, come with a cool little melodic hit, where he come real sharp with the words and just talk his same shit to where like the kids can kind of repeat it. It can be, you know what I'm saying? That's what's going to go for a hit for him. That's what I think takes him to another statue because he already got street hits, you feel me? The hood, and it don't got to be a commercial hit, but I'm saying a little kind of like, not a commercial, still street and uncut, but have like a melodic, simple, catchy hook with it. And, and once he do that, it's going up for, for, for motherfucking Jack Boy. It is what it is. He gonna be good regardless. I'm just saying with a sky him up even more. But that nigga great though, dog. Like Jack Boy gonna go down as one of the greats, man. For real. I'm on. Shit show, man. Shout out to the whole Florida. Everybody out there, Florida got some motherfucking talent.